Welcome to Electron Line. To give us a better intuitive feel for absolute and apparent magnitude, let's take a look at some familiar objects. We're going to look at Regal, our Sun, and Sirius. Which star is Regal? Well, Regal is that really bright bluish white star inside the constellation of Orion. So when you look southward, you see the constellation of Orion to the bottom right, that big star there, that's called Regal. And it's a very bright star. It's one of the brightest stars in the sky. Next, of course, the sun. And everybody knows the sun. We look at it every day when it's not cloudy. And then the third star, Sirius, which is the largest star in the constellation Canis Major. And it's this star right here. And of course, Canis Major, the large dog, is the hunting companion of Orion in Greek mythology. And so Sirius is the brightest star in the sky. It's really bright because it's close. Now, how close is Sirius? Well, I haven't got it up there yet. Maybe I can ask my wife to find out how far Sirius is. <laughs> okay, so while we're waiting for that, let's take a look at the others. Absolute magnitude for Regal, minus 6.69. So again, that's if we were to place Regal at a distance of 10 parsecs, that's how bright it would appear. It would be much, much brighter than Sirius, which is the brightest star in the sky. So Regal is a really bright star. But the apparent magnitude is 0.18, a positive 0.18. That's still one of the brightest stars in the sky, but it would be much brighter if we brought it closer to a distance of 10 parsecs. The reason why the apparent magnitude is a much larger number than the absolute magnitude is because it's at a distance of 772 light years, which is way more than 32.6 light years, which is 10 parsecs. Yes? 8.611 light years. 8.6, that's good enough. 8.6 light years. Thank you. All right, how about the sun? Well, the sun has an apparent magnitude of minus 26.75. That is huge. That is really bright. Of course, the sun is only one astronomical unit away from us, and that's why it's so bright. What, what if we were to take the sun and put it 10 parsecs away, 32.6 light years away? Then it would have an apparent brightness of 4.83. Of course, at that distance, the apparent brightness is equal to the absolute brightness. So if we place it 10 parsecs away, wow, you can barely even see the sun at that point. It would just be a faint little dot in the sky. How about Sirius, the brightest star in the sky? Well, if we were to move it at a distance of 10 parsecs, which is 32.6 light years, it would have an apparent magnitude of 1.42, which of course makes it the absolute magnitude. Well, the apparent magnitude actually is minus 1.46 because it is a lot closer than 32.6 light years at standard distance, which means it is brighter because it's closer, not because it's bigger. Although we can compare these two, Sirius and the Sun, notice the absolute magnitude. Sirius is brighter than the Sun. That means it's a brighter star, period. And Regal is much brighter than both of these. That's because Regal, by far, outshines the other two stars. So we can say that if the apparent magnitude is smaller, meaning brighter, than the absolute magnitude, the object is closer than 10 parsecs. If the apparent magnitude, the brightness, is greater than or dimmer than the absolute magnitude, then the object is farther away than 10 parsecs. So let's try it on these examples. All right, first of all, Regal. Is the apparent smaller than the absolute? Here's the apparent, here's the absolute. It's not smaller. It is bigger. It's a bigger number. 0.18 is a bigger number than the negative 6.69. So therefore, the object is farther away than 10 parsecs. Sure enough, 772 light years. How about the sun? Well, here we can see that the apparent is a much smaller number than the absolute because negative is smaller than a positive number. So therefore, the object is closer than 10 parsecs. And sure enough, the sun is only one astronomical unit away, much closer. How about Sirius? Here we can see that this is a bigger number than that, or the apparent, the apparent magnitude is smaller than the absolute magnitude. So the apparent magnitude is smaller than the absolute magnitude, therefore the object is closer than 10 parsecs. Sure enough, 8.6 is closer than 32.6. So that's how we can see whether or not the star is closer or farther away than 32.6 light years, which is 10 parsecs, based upon comparing the absolute versus the apparent magnitude. And that 
is how it's done. Recognize them? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. But they're not that close in the sky. Uh, no, a little bit there, a little bit further away, but I ran out of board space. 